Yeah, hi. Uh, today I've got the um, 67 millimeter adapter plate. It finally came in for my little camera, my Canon SX60, uh, the HS series. Um, eh, it's taken only six weeks to get here, which I'm not exactly thrilled about, but anyway, it arrived. Uh, it comes with a lens cap because obviously this is going to be a bigger size than the old um, lens cap, which is over here, uh, give you an idea, that's the old, the original one that comes with the camera and you can see there's a substantial amount of uh, difference in physical size there so that one will no longer be needed. It comes with the little lens, uh, uh, little lens hood here, uh, yeah not bad, it uh, fits in quite nice, uh, we've got a little, little brush here which is a little pop out one, you've got a pop out thing on one end, so your little brush to clean your lens and a funny thing on the other end which is uh, you pop that off there and you've got uh, that thing which is yeah whatever that's for so yeah oh look it comes out the other end as well so you've got a double ended whatever the hell that thing is so yeah that works real well um, hmm oh well pop that down and uh, we've got obviously the lenses which I'll get onto in a second but the most important uh, part that comes with it is this yes a dangly bit of wonderful string or whatever that's to tie the uh, little lens cap on so you don't lose it um, yeah very very mm, stretchy fied and uh, yeah well without it I mean hmm, what do you do with it anyway put that aside um, the lenses themselves we've got some uh, three different ones in here which I'll uh, pop them out for you in a second we've got the uh, this one here which is basically it's uh, it's uh, how would you put it uh, next to useless it's <laughs> I shouldn't say that's a UV filter um, and basically all you use that for uh, with the digital cameras is just to protect the uh, actual lens themselves so it stops you uh, destroying your uh, glass lens in the front of your camera if you accidentally drop it but as far as UV protection goes it's it's useless um, we don't need them in digital cameras anymore but that was thrown in so I thought oh well I'll take it anyway we've got uh, two other filters in there as well yeah, the uh, next filter we've got is the um, this one, which is a uh, FLD fl uh, filter. It's uh, a fluorescent uh, light filter, I suppose you, you call it. It's for using, uh, if you take photos under a fluorescent light, it's supposed to correct uh, some of the, the colour uh, spectrum. But, ah, oh, well, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it was thrown in the kit. What the hell? Might work, might not. Find out soon enough. Now on to the filter that really interests me which is uh, this little one here. Now that one I'm, I'm very, very interested in. That's the um, CPL filter or circular polarizer, if you like. Um, what it's meant to do is, uh, as you rotate it, it's meant to polarize the, uh, the light coming through so it darkens the sky, uh, manipulates uh, reflections a little bit so it reduces them and suppresses glare from the surface of uh, lakes and, uh, and the sea water in general so I'm really interested to see how that works uh, I don't hold my breath because it's a fairly cheapy but you never know it uh, might do a better job than I expect it's uh, always par for the course when that sort of thing happens okay now for the exciting bit yes we're fitting this little adapter ring hopefully we can get it in position just pop it into into there and give it a bit of a twist and there it is, that's, that's all there is to it. So the lens adapter is now in position. And uh, pop this in, see if it works. Yep, look at that, perfect. Nice. Okay. What uh, makes it interesting with these particular filters is that they're actually, um, they've got uh, two lots of uh, threads on them. One is that we can actually screw it into the cap it also has a second thread so we can actually put on our lens wood if we like or we can actually put a different uh, filter on so it has a bit of versatility in it I'll uh, try the, the little uh, lens hood now see if that fits on ok we've got a, obviously a tightening device on here so we'll that 
Yeah. Fits in nice and tight. Yeah, not a problem. That's uh, that's pretty nifty too. Okay. UV lens, I'll just pop it in front and as you see it'll do absolutely nothing. So uh, here goes. UV lens. Absolutely zip, does nothing. In other words, good for a um, lens protector and that's about all. Next one is not meant to be used in uh, outside. Uh, this is the um, fluorescent uh, uh, tube one, it's the FLD um, lens and we'll pop it in front and uh, give you an idea of what it looks like. You notice that uh, it does change uh, quite dramatically the colours, it's uh, pretty nifty. You can have a bit of fun with this uh, to enhance uh, say blues, uh, if you're down doing a, an ocean shot or whatever it'll make it quite interesting. Now the last one is the uh, one I'm really interested in, which is the uh, the CPL one. This is the wonderful little polarised one. So we'll pop him in front and uh, give you an idea of this. Now as I screw it, we should start to see a variation in It's very subtle, but it is there. I might actually have to put this to the, uh, yeah, okay. Now popped on the uh, the lens, the polarizing lens that I'm interested in, the CPL filter, and I'll just screw it around a little bit to give you an idea of what it does. And as you can see, the reflection on the car is disappearing. So it does, uh, does work, and I'll swing it over a bit further, you can bring the reflection back again, and drop him down. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's surprising, it actually works quite well. Uh, not bad for a little cheap unit. I've uh, now popped on the, uh, the lens, the polarising lens that I'm interested in, the CPL filter, and I'll just screw it around a little bit to give you an idea of what it does. And as you can see, the reflection on the car is disappearing. So it does, uh, does work, and I'll swing it over a bit further, you can bring the reflection back again drop him down. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's surprising, it actually works quite well. Uh, not bad for a little cheap unit. Now I'm going to put on the uh, UV lens, I'll just pop it in front and as you see it'll do absolutely nothing. So uh, here goes. UV lens, absolutely zip, does nothing. In other words, good for a um, lens protector and that's about all. Uh, this is the um, fluorescent uh, uh, tube one, it's the FLD um, lens and we'll pop it in front and uh, give you an idea of what it looks like. You notice that uh, it does change uh, quite dramatically the colours, it's uh, pretty nifty. You can have a bit of fun with this uh, to enhance uh, say blues, uh, if you're down doing a, an ocean shot or whatever it'll make it quite interesting. I've just uh, re-angled the camera a little bit and we'll put the fluorescent uh, tube lens over the top give you an idea of what it's like. Uh, at the moment it's currently uh, unfiltered, just simply raw input and uh, over she goes. So you can see it does make substantial difference, the blues really pop out a bit. Now on again and off again.